Okay, I'm working on trying to get my volume fixed. There we go. Now you can hear me. Okay. All right. So today we're going to talk about X and Y intercepts. We've been talking about the Y intercept and we've kind of talked about X intercepts in reference to being it, it being called the zeros or the roots. We're going to talk about now how to use the X and Y intercepts to graph. Okay. So <clears throat> it says the point at which the line intersects the X axis is called the X intercept, which is going to be this point here. This is the X intercept, the point where the line intersects the Y axis, no Y intercept. So that's going to be this point here, which we've talked about with slope intercept form. Okay. So an example, identify the X and Y intercepts of the graph shown to the right. So my X intercept is going to be an ordered pair. This ordered pair right here is going to be, it's located at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is eight on the X axis and it doesn't go up or down any. So it's at zero on the Y axis. So there's my X intercept. The Y intercept is up here. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on the Y axis, but it's at zero on the x-axis because it's on the actual y-axis. So this is zero comma eight. All right, <coughs> notice the x-intercept is always going to be some number comma zero. The zero is in the y spot. For the y-intercept, it is zero comma some number. The zero is in the x spot. Just an observation to help you to remember how the ordered pair should be written. Next, we're finding the intercepts algebraically. This was from a graph. Now, if we're given the equation. So to find the x-intercept of an equation, okay, we're going to plug in a zero for y, because I'm plugging because the zero is in the y spot. Because remember, this is x comma y. So I'm going to plug in zero for y and solve for x. Because right now, I know that the y is equal to zero. So I can substitute in zero for y. For the y-intercept, we do the opposite. We're going to plug in zero for x because the zero is in the X spot. And we have that X equals zero in this instance. And then we solve for Y. All right, so let's go ahead and do that for this example. Find the X, intercept, X and Y intercept of the equation for Y equals three X plus six. So I'm gonna plug in for the X intercept. I'm gonna have zero equals three X plus six. And now I solve. So I subtract six, subtract six, and I have three X. Negative six equals three X. Divide by three. And we have negative two equals X. So therefore the X intercept is going to be negative two comma zero. for the y-intercept. And yes, we know when it's in this equation to automatically pull it out, we have to show mathematically how this works. So we're gonna plug in zero for x. So I'm gonna have y equals three times zero plus six. And we end up with y equals zero plus six, which is y equals six. So therefore my y-intercept is zero comma six. And let's look at number three real quick because we've worked one example together. Now let's jump down and kind of pull one in that's got fractions. 
So I'm going to follow this. I'm finding the X and Y intercept. So I'm going to have two scenarios. Okay. So I'm going to have the X intercept, which is where I plug in a zero for Y. So I'm going to have zero equals negative four thirds X plus two. So I'm going to subtract two and we have negative two equals negative four thirds X. Now with this, remember I'm multiplying by a fraction. So to cancel that multiplication, I have to divide by a fraction or think of it as multiply by the reciprocal. So I'm going to multiply by negative three fourths on both sides. And yes, I can move that negative between the top and the bottom. It just cannot be in both the numerator and the denominator. These cancel. And over here, I end up with positive six over four equals X, which I always have to simplify. So that's going to simplify to three halves. So that means my X intercept is going to be open parentheses, three halves, comma, zero, close parentheses. <coughs> Excuse me. And then the Y intercept. Again, so I'm going to have Y equals negative four thirds times three, and I plug in zero for X and we solve. So this is going to give me Y equals two. So my Y intercept is zero comma two, because anything times zero is zero, and then zero plus two is zero. And moving right along to the back of the page. Let's move on to now when we want to graph. Okay, so I'm going to look at number seven. So we have find the X and Y intercept of each equation. So I have to find that first. Let me turn this off. Sorry about that, guys. So I have to find the X and Y intercepts first. And a little trick in helping you to understand this when it's kind of so simple like this is to help you mentally think is I'm plugging in, remember for the X intercept, this is number seven. For the X intercept, I'm plugging in zero for Y. So I have, I can do this right here. <laughs> I'm gonna change this a little bit. There's the X intercept, so I'm gonna have a zero. X plus zero equals three. So that's gonna give me X equals three. So I plug in zero for Y and I end up with X equals three. Then for the Y intercept, I'm plugging in zero for X. So that means that goes away. So zero plus Y equals three. So that gives me Y equals three. And now I graph those two. So I'm gonna have the X at three, the Y at three. And remember, all I have to have is two points to draw a graph. So now I take my handy dandy ruler and I connect my dots. And if you want to, you can figure out the slope and continue your graph. But with a ruler, you just now connect the dots and you make your graph go all the way through. Okay, jumping down, we wanna try Let's do number nine. So looking at number nine, I'm now got to find my X and Y intercept. So for the X intercept, remember, that means I'm plugging in a zero for Y. So that means when I plug in zero for Y, this goes away. And I'm left with nine X equals 45 because I'm plugging in the zero for Y. If you need to add that step in there of nine X minus 15 times zero equals 45, then you write it. You do what your brain needs to do. So now I divide by nine and I get that X equals five. So I'm gonna plot that point X equals five. And now I find the Y intercept, which is where I plug in 
zero for x. Now, what I've got to remember is that's a negative. So this is going to give me, so I'm going to have 9 times 0 minus 15y equals 45, which I can take straight to negative 15y. If I just kind of think about it this way, where I'm covering up the 9x, because that means it's gone. So now I have negative 15y equals 45. I divide by negative 15. And I get that y equals negative 3. So I have 1, 2, 3. Plot my point, and now I play connect the dots. And we draw our graph to go through the entire coordinate plane. Okay, your assignment is to finish the notes and the classwork homework. Have a great day.